and yet no Right, pop your five, pop your tax. Alright, this one's pretty niche. It has to do with a uh, specific tax that we collect from Medi-Cal. And we only collect this tax the way the federal program is written. We get to leverage this tax. So like, we get a dollar in this tax to the state, the federal government will give us like $1.5. So that's kind of the only reason we collect this tax. And then with this money, we use it to spend it on Medi-Cal stuff. Uh, reimbursements to doctors, I don't know what else, like the uh, administrators that administer Medi-Cal. Um, so that's what's going on with this tax. Um, but the reason this is on the ballot is because when this was last renewed, which by the way, this is not a permanent tax, it has to be renewed every few years. The last time we renewed this tax, we increased it significantly. There's a lot of new money coming in. Um, however, this was also the year, which is this past year, that we were in a significant deficit. So the governor proposed that we use this new money to backfill existing Medi-Cal services instead of funding new services or new programs. And this pissed off a lot of people because promises were made saying, hey, we're going to pay the Medi-Cal doctors more. We're going to increase reimbursements. Um, but that did not happen because we had deficit. And we had, oh, the money that we said was going to go toward this, sorry, we have to pay for existing programs. Um, so that's why uh, this is on the ballot. It will make the tax permanent, and it will also apply strict rules on how this money can be spent. Um, according to the Kaiser Family Foundation, California's reimbursement rate falls in the bottom third nationally. That means if you're a doctor and you're seeing Medi-Cal patients, the money that the government gives you to do that is not great compared to other states. And California is expensive, expensive to run a medical office, so on and so forth. They want to be reimbursed fairly. So um, there are a bunch, good number of details in the voter guide about how what those strict rules are, where the, the new tax money has to go. Um, but that's kind of one of the main fights is that it'll reimburse doctors more. Because um, also what's going on if, is if you're a doctor, you can decide to take Medi-Cal or not take Medi-Cal. And you take Medi-Cal, it's great. You help people, poor people who are on Medi-Cal. And that's what the state wants. However, if you get reimbursed less than that, like not, it's not worth your time. You'd rather see patients with uh, private insurance that have higher rates and you get paid more. Yeah. Uh, you start to not see Medi-Cal patients. So that, that's an issue that also this is trying to address. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, so something in this discussion is about flexibility for the state uh, leaders to use this tax revenue and other purposes that are not just for these specific Medi-Cal uh, new programs. Um, that's something in the background if you think that the state should have that flexibility versus be tied to this specific purpose, okay? So, any questions? Yes. But is this not permanent? It's currently not permanent. But this will make it permanent if you vote yes. So, oh, so if we don't go yes, it'll go away. It'll go away, but we're gonna, we always renew it. Oh. It's essentially, it leverages federal money, so it's like free money to the state. So we're gonna, we're gonna renew it, oh. no matter what. But this will, this will make it permanent. That's kind of like a small, it's not the main fight for this proposition. Oh. It's just one thing, something How do you want that money to get spent? Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's about how we spend money. Yeah, it's kind of a niche proposition. So, other questions? Okay, let's uh, let's let's knock it out. Let's let's do same team, same side, and we'll. Uh, so oh man. So let's we're for be, it. Wait, we're against. <laughs> we're for it. Yeah. Oh come yeah. on. What? We paid it, numbers, right? But, you know, with how expensive Medi-Cal is, there's a lot of people who need to see doctors. There's a lot of people under Medi-Cal who want to see doctors, and because. There's less doctors across the board that are choosing to see Medi-Cal patients. We're seeing like a backup in patients. And you know, that's like one of the biggest issues with Medi-Cal, right? Yeah. Like people on Medi-Cal will often complain, dude, I'm trying to get an appointment with a doctor. It's taking me like three months to see someone for, you know, something as basic as um, a routine Just, checkup. Okay. Um, and so this prop um, will dedicate money towards that. Um, and Properly. Yeah, so.
Jesus. You know, obviously we're solving a huge issue here with um, the backup in patients on Medi-Cal. Um, yeah. Awesome. Any, any additions for me to Yeah, and also like, if this, what it says is like, um, they'll have more like, people paying attention to where this money goes and there'll be people, would it be like committees? being formed to make sure the, that the taxes are going where these programs are meant to be for and not what it was where Gavin Newsom or whoever was used this money for not where it was supposed to be when the tax, uh, this prop, whatever this tax was made for. And if it's permanent, then it's, we wouldn't have to think about like these programs going unfunded. It'll just keep getting funded in a per more permanent way rather than every year you have to rethink about it or every few years, right? So that would be better. Hell yeah, bro. All right. Whoa, bias. What's <laughs> Okay, let's go. Top 35. Whoa, hey. No, they're done. That's that's it. We win. No, 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 no. We got a, we got a slam dunk argument again. No, no, no. We got a slam dunk argument. We got a slam dunk. No, no, no. We got a slam dunk argument against and Carver take it. should have the flexibility to spend tax money that they receive. For example, using the money to address our deficit. Also, if you look at the chart in the voter guide, there are um, certain services would be taken away. I mean, not taken away, but they won't be funded, for Let's example. Non-emergency medical transportation, private duty nursing, certain long-term supports and Think about the children. Continuous <laughs> medical coverage for children up to five years old. Babies, yeah. Babies in mother's arms will not be funded. But would it? Oh, never mind. Five years old? Up to five years old. Oh, man. Little babies. Okay, so. Really against team? Anything else? Little tiny babies. Kids. Okay, open discussion. We've got a rebuttal here. Go ahead. Yeah. But wouldn't there be other taxes to support those programs that go away? <laughs> No. Yeah, Disappear? No, yes. <laughs> Actually, I don't know. Yes. That. <laughs> right? Wouldn't what? there... Because this, this proposition is just to make sure there is a foundation and then you could build upon it, right? Is that yes. what it is? Yeah. And this specifically says funding increases. It doesn't mean, the, it doesn't mean those prog programs are gone away or, or, or not. There's going to be less babies oh. next uh, year? Yeah. yeah. Uh, and oh. just because it's not funded from this specific pot doesn't mean that it won't be funded from another pot. Um, yeah, the compelling argument against it is simply the like the, the flexibility, flexibility argument. Um, Do you but trust I think that like Sacramento. If, if you're giving money to yeah. like use on a program, right? Um, you should be using that money for that program. I, I don't think that like politicians should be like, oh, I you know what? Uh, I miss I, I missed my budget mark this year, yeah. and uh, this program um, is on the chopping block, right? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take this from here and put it over there. I don't think it should be a, like necessarily allowed to do that, right? That's tough because there's there's a number of programs that have been passed, no, a bunch of legislation, thousands of pieces of legislation every year passed, mm -hmm. but it doesn't get funded. So there's always never enough money. There's a lot of great programs, a lot of great bills that are passed every year and it's not funded. But healthcare is important. So healthcare is important. So yeah, the money where the tax is taken for healthcare should be used for healthcare. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it was. It just wasn't for new programs. Which is what they promised. Which is, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which is like coming, just not this year. Yeah. But I, I think but something as essential as like funding for Medi-Cal, you know, a lot of people are on Medi-Cal, you know. Um, something as like important as that, mm -hmm. the funding for that should go to that. Yeah. What we're missing here is what the money was spent on instead of mm -hmm. the new programs, which is uh, a lot of the existing but not just Medi-Cal, because the budget is zero sum, right? You, if you put some over here, you're not gonna have another sum. Mm -hmm. So even though we say this is about um, existing programs and then paying for these programs, that allowed us to fund other things in the budget. Anything from like what specifically? Well, it's it's anything. It's everything that the government offers. So I don't know, like. If it, if it funded something that was like super cool and necessary and important, oh to who? there were people who would be against this proposition being like, hey, well, when we redirected that funding, it, it helped the birds. Nobody was against it. it, it helped. Yeah, and nobody's against this. Like, the yeah. other guy who's against this is like Gavin Newsom out of nowhere because he's like, oh, I want flexibility. 
Yeah. I feel like it's just to cover his ass. I don't know. Yeah. 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 It's covering his yeah. own ass, man. Not that bad. It's probably past. Maybe that's why the Republicans are for it. Because it makes him look bad. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Um, well, all it's doing is like writing rules as to where the money should go, yeah? Yeah. 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 And so, like, if we're getting money from the federal government, we should have rules as to where it should go. No? Yeah. And that money would go, you know, to either existing or or new mm-hmm. programs. Yeah. Um, Property. Yeah. The difficulty is we, we use, we shift the money around to support existing programs, not just Medi-Cal, but also like social services, uh, all across the board, right? Mm-hmm. Climate, whatever, everything, right? So, um, yeah, if, if we tie up money to do one thing, then you have money for another thing. So it's a, yeah, sure. it's, it's the same, it's an issue every year. Because um, uh, if you tie it up to these programs and then you know, the quality of the program isn't there, then you can't really do anything about it because you can't divert the money once it's been tied up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I guess that would be the good side. Yeah, for example, like, okay, yeah, Medi-Cal reimbursements are an issue, mm-hmm. but, um, you know, it was this year we're, like, super broke. We need to fund, we need to keep existing programs going. Like, the thought was the doctors could go an- another year without increasing <laughs> the reimbursements, right? Like, so that's that was like the, the thing behind it. Um, mm-hmm. I don't know. Uh, I'm kind of in the middle on this. I don't know what would get me one way or the other. So there has to be like you're, you're saying there has to be cuts somewhere. At least this year there there were cuts. Yeah. yeah. And so like yeah, if we're funding these brand new shiny programs, but we're like cutting you know a thirty year program that a lot of people rely on, mm-hmm. then it's like oh that didn't yeah. feel great either. So it's like right. mm-hmm. it's, a, it's, a, it's a give and take. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty tough. Mm. I'm gonna vote no. So what are you voting for? Um, the governor's against this. Mm-hmm. So we're against the governor. And when I say the governor, so the governor in the budget process, the governor proposes initially, and then the legislature mm-hmm. spends like the next few months debating and negotiating. So, like the governor proposed to cut mm-hmm. acupuncture, right? But then, oh. but then the legislators and through the community fought back, and now it's there. So. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. What are some uh, discussion questions? Uh, yeah, not, nothing really to add, honestly. But. We covered it. Yeah. What are you, how are you guys voting? Yes, no? I don't don't decline to say? I don't know. I think I'm probably going to vote yes. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. I'm going to vote yes. I'm going to vote no. I'm kind of know. Yeah, I'm kind of a team player. <laughs> it's like, I work for the legislature, so it's like, we want the flexibility to oh, go. Oh, of course, of course. Of course, of course, of course. Yeah. But, like, when you make a budget, like, I, when I make a budget for myself, I'm yeah. like, I want, okay, well, I know, I don't, if I have more money to play with, then I'm going to, like, get a little crazy. So let me just set aside 500 or so dollars every month for this one thing that I know I'm going to have to pay for anyway. Mm-hmm. And I feel like this is, like, kind of like that, where it's like, you know, we know we're going to have to pay for uh, medical reimbursements anyway. So why don't, why don't we just, like... But not in there. Mm. And yeah, how does it affect us as a regular person? Kind of hard to say. I feel like it does. Oh, medical. Oh, yeah. Does it affect me? Mm. Like yeah. in my health care for my job. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Like theoretically, it can affect your trust in your government. True. If it's if you don't believe in what they've done and you don't think it's mm. and like this is just playing devil's advocate for like, if you That's don't. True believe in where they're reallocating them. Do you believe in Steven's job? Do you think? I don't have much say with this. <laughs> Do we believe in California? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe not. I don't know. Because you're saying like there's a huge budget deficit. I don't know about a job. There's a budget, right? No, I don't. You can, like, you can count on like two can, hands the actual people who make these decisions. Oh, yeah, really? Like, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. That's cool. So it should be in a democracy. A representative democracy. Yeah, True. Yeah. Representative. I don't want to make those decisions. And I have uh, questions or comments on this before we go on. Do people... Mm. Yeah. In the previous page, the chart, it says something just leave about it CHWs. What is... What are, like, there's like, and then a C, and then at the bottom is a... Do you know what that means? Uh, the local fund increases... 
Community health workers. So it depends. Sorry, what were you? It depends. If it happens. Uh, health, community health uh, workers, these uh, are pretty important folks. They're like uh, folks that are actually in the community that speak the language. Uh, and they go, like, during COVID, they were the yeah. trusted people about vaccines and stuff. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, so currently, apparently, they are going to get funding increases. If, if 35 passes? Uh, no, 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 currently. currently. Oh, They will okay. get increases uh -huh. in 25 and 26. Oh, okay, okay. Although, I know it says this, but the legislature can do whatever it wants. Like, it just, like, it just does whatever it wants. Like, I guess there's so many programs that are in effect, but they don't get funded because they're like, we just can't afford stuff. Anyways. But then if this passes, uh -huh. then it is subject, then it'll be pushed back to 27, apparently. And then depending on if there's enough money. So that's, that's for that program. The language is so, like, it's so hard to follow. Like in general, with like all of these policy things, is like so much jargon that it's like making my brain it's hard to follow. I agree. Yeah. It's like legalese. Uh, yeah. Other final questions on this? Uh, all right, last one. Let's push Yay. through. Push through. Twenty. 